I've been slammed for posting my OnlyFans photos onto Facebook as a clickbait to get people to watch Slaughterhouse footage. This week, I posted a censored version of an OnlyFans photo onto Facebook to bring people to the website don'twatch.org. The Facebook post read, watch this video to get access to exclusive content with an image of myself posing on a rock with my breast censored by an OnlyFans symbol and my ass censored with don'twatch.org written over it. The purpose of this post was to get as many people going to don'twatch.org to see a video that exposes the rape, enslavement, torture, abuse and murder that non-human animals are subjected to in the meat, dairy and egg industries and other industries that abuse and exploit non-human animals. Most people wish to remain ignorant to the atrocities happening in the meat, dairy and egg industries, so by making people believe that they're going to get access to my OnlyFans content, I found to be an incredibly effective way to get them to watch the slaughterhouse footage. Another example where I've used this tactic before is on YouTube when I posted the Dominion documentary and titled it Sexy Vegan Girls Get Nude, along with a thumbnail of myself and another activist, Stefania, completely topless, and it's generated over 70,000 views. I highly doubt if it was labelled Dominion or Slaughterhouse footage, it would have been able to generate anywhere near as much views as it has today. In fact, this one post of my OnlyFans photo generated a couple of thousand people going to don'twatch.org within one day of posting the photo. I've received a lot of backlash from posting this OnlyFans photo for a number of reasons. Firstly, because it can be seen as an erotic image because of the position that I'm posing in and having my breasts out. And secondly, some people genuinely believe that it's a link straight to my OnlyFans content and the purpose of the post is to advertise my OnlyFans. Many people take major issue to women doing what they want with their bodies, posing in certain ways, wearing certain clothing and having OnlyFans accounts. And this includes some women as well, it's not just men. The amount of times I've been called a slut, whore, skank, dirty, disgusting and severely body shamed is astounding. This post alone has over a thousand comments where people are calling me these names, body shaming me as well as accusing me of doing this post as an advertisement to my OnlyFans account. Whether or not I had an OnlyFans account, I would still be utilising sexy and erotic photos to bring attention to the animal holocaust, which is obviously what this post is about. And even if it were a post to simply advertise my OnlyFans, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. People advertise their OnlyFans all the time without much issue taken to it by the public. However, when someone like myself as an animal rights activist does it, people take a huge issue to it because they're simply trying to defend their egos. They're trying to shut me down because I'm bringing to light the animal holocaust and people don't like to be aware of the atrocities that they're committing. So they'll do anything to discredit me. It's quite ironic because I rarely advertise my OnlyFans. I simply don't need to. The haters talk about it all the time on every post I make. They're the ones doing all the advertising for me. The name calling and body shaming comments, particularly in my Facebook feed, is next level. I'll read out a few of them. First one, your box is mutilated. Nothing says save the planet like showing your junk to the world. Lots of class right there. Pity you feel the need to abuse yourself in this way. Well, that seems like an oxymoron. How can someone abuse themselves? Abuse is someone abusing someone else. Probably like this person who pays for animal abuse in the meat, dairy, egg, leather, wool, fur, etc. industries. Someone doing what they want with their body without causing harm to anyone else simply cannot be abuse. This person says, can hear those meat flaps flapping in the breeze. Can I get an unedited picture please? Love to see a vegan drop tank. The fuck is a drop tank? <laughs> hey Tash, if you're going to censor the disgusting picture, you should be censoring the disgusting reflection in the water. So much meat on display. God, that's a lot of meat. Time to leave. I don't support prostitution. Wow, imagine thinking that a woman posing in a certain way is prostitution. That just shows everything that's wrong with these person's views on women. What the fuck is this? Is she promoting her porn? No civilized woman can pose in such a way. Are we in the 19th century or something? I can't believe I'm reading this. 
This person says, I think it's wonderful that transgender girls like you feel confident enough to show their transitioned bodies. If you want to know what, the, what it looks like, just picture a firecracker wrapped in roast beef. And these are just a handful of some of the disgusting comments out there. There are many more that are far worse. Whether I'm standing completely clothed in a supermarket, blasting the screams of animals inside slaughterhouses, or using my body in various ways to bring attention to animal rights, people will continue to try and discredit me and accuse me of doing it for self-attention or promoting my OnlyFans account. And it's simply because they'll do anything to discredit the messenger. Because people can't handle the truth that if you're not vegan, you're an animal abuser. They wish to shoot the messenger instead of changing their lives after finding out the truth. At the end of the day, I'll never stop using my body, my voice, and doing whatever I can to bring attention to the brutal torture, rape, abuse, and murder happening in the meat, dairy, egg, honey, leather, wool, fur, animal entertainment, racing, breeding, etc. industries. Watch Dominion on YouTube for the truth.